Hello again. I'm going to stick with Mastermind Games back for more Malifaux painting. This time, Mouse. Tan skin 09044. So, Mouse is a very short man, a dwarf, in fact. He is Tony Ironside's totem, and he is uh, pretty much the spy master of the Arcanists. Emphasis on the word the. Originally assigned to work with Ironsides uh, to keep tabs on her, the behest of Victor Ramos. The two developed a deep camaraderie for the discrimination they faced. And Mouse has put together pretty much the most subtle network of spies and informants in uh, the world presented. So much so that the guild has not been able to unravel it. Very clever man. And that's about it. It was also very handy with uh, the rope he carries. I'm going to let that dry before moving on. Back in a bit. All right. Next. For brown, I think. Gonna get his pants and boots, but he does seem to have some. Uh, oh, that is way too thick. Let's just wipe some of that off there. His goggles too. And now Rainy Gray zero nine zero three eight for his beard. I'm doing something a little different than what I did with uh, Ironside's hair, even though I'm starting with the same color. And I'm keeping my brush moist, but not overly wet. Essentially using just enough water to thin out the paint. Okay, there we go. That's all I can do for the time being, so I'm going to let that dry up. Wait, a little more right here on the goggles. There we are. Let that dry completely and then move on. Oh, oh primer. Okay, let's stabilize though. Back in a minute. Oh, all right. Next. Tarnished Steel 09206. Just a tiny dot of this. The only place this is going is in his goggles. Filling the lenses there. Chaotic red. Look at his hat and coat. Now, because of Mouse's height, I was tempted to make a reference to Little Mac from Nintendo's Punch-Out! series of games, but decided I'd have him actually match Ironsides instead. And even if I had, it wouldn't be the first Nintendo reference I've made with my Malifaux painting. Uh, my Collodi is based off the 
character Gino from Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, which happens to be my favorite Super Nintendo game, with his marionettes being based off of Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Toad. And Malifaux was full of references to not just classical liter literature, but pop culture. Burt Jebson is based off of Jack Burton from Big Trouble in Little China, for example. And there's an upcoming Explorers Guild character they previewed. Seymour Andre, I believe, is the character's name, who is based off of the botanist in Little Shop of Horrors. So this color scheme in the end is going to be pretty close to what's official. But, all right, it's good for now. Let that dry, and then I can uh, probably wrap up. So I can get. Oh, that was still kind of blurry. There we go. Back in a bit. Okay. Next. Shield Brown zero nine one six one. This one's running a little thin. I do have a spare on hand for if when I need it. Let's use something a little smaller for this though. So he's packing a keg of something. Had to go back to his uh, concept art to see, figure out what this was. I thought at first it might be a barrel of dynamite. And it very well could be. If you hear that thumping, it is my neighbors being obnoxiously loud with their stereo again. I will let it slide for the time being. And I'm getting this rope this. This gave me quite a bit of trouble during assembly. I eventually got it figured out, and it's one situation where the instructions online did help. But again, I feel some of the instructions they have on their website are outdated, or were for prototypes. Yeah, I'm going to pick out his belt in the brown as well, and the pouches on it. Outside of being a spy master, Mouse is a very. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? He's very insightful and is very well prepared for just about anything that could possibly arise. And uniform gray. Kind of like Batman in a way, I suppose. Only more subtle. Yeah. You know, the thing about music is when you put the bass up so much, it's, you know, anything, everything sounds the same when you put the bass up loud enough. Unfortunately, that is what that said a neighbor does, but I will take them over the psychopath that used to live down there any day. And if you watch my earlier videos, you might even hear some screaming from that psychopath that used to live downstairs from yelling at her daughter. Okay, that is base coats. So I'm going to let that try completely and then get on to shading. All right, time to shade. Woodstain Brown 09160. Thinning with one part water to one part paint. Going over the rope. And what I'm 
I'm sure amounts to a uh, Batman-esque utility belt. This barrel full of who knows what. Black and steel, 09205. Just a little bit. So all I need on this is to get the lenses on his goggles. I think I can go ahead and get his beard as well, so pure black, 09037. Now with particularly dark colors, you'll need two to three parts water to one part paint. Now Mouse is an older man. So he's going gray, but it's not completely gray yet, and he'll no more black than that, so definitely a salt and pepper look there, at least that's the impression I got based on his concept art, so I'm just going to go over that, make sure I get that in the crevices there, okay, that's not bad, yeah, a little more on the tip here, okay, Gonna let that dry completely. Well, actually, you know what? I can do one more bit right now and that'll save time. Uh, ready Leather 09109. Can I do this? You know what? I'm gonna do it. here and his pants and these shoes here I'm lucky I might be able to get the rest of the shading in just one more session. We'll just uh, see how it goes, but um, that's going to be it for now. Let that focus. First off, let that focus. And there we go. So I'm going to let that dry and come back in a bit. Okay. All right. Next layers of shading, and I think I can actually finish it up here. Tan shadow. 09043 <sighs> Cannot wait till I can afford to upgrade from this condo to a house so I don't have to worry about paper thin insulation and noisy neighbors. Just getting his skin here. And red brick zero nine zero zero one. Let's try to keep this in the same spot as much as I can. Let's see if that helps my focus issues any. on everything. I am using a side-to-side -side sort of a wiggle on some areas. It actually helps a little. I'm just ripping the paint.
And now Stormy Gray 09088. Let's see if I can keep somewhat in focus during this. Pure black zero nine zero three seven, and just do a little more in that beard there. Maybe using just a one to one ratio of water to paint, just kind of selectively Maybe pull some of that out. I think that looks a little better. Okay. Let that all dry completely, and then I can detail and highlight. Okay, time to highlight and detail. Matt White. Just a tiny dot of this. Actually, I need more of this than I think, but I'm going to start with a little dot. eyes and then pure black 09037 again just a little little, little dot for now I'm using just enough water to keep the brush moist carefully filling in the pupils I'm just a little bigger, that's a little more visible, okay. Okay. Switching to a dry brushing technique. And I can get a grip pulling out something ragged and feathered like that. Tanned highlight 09045. I'm just gonna see if I can get my thing to focus. There we go. Kinda. No water, straight paint only, rubbing most of it out on the paper towel I've got. I won't be dusting the area to be affected, going against any raised areas. Especially like the nose and cheeks here. Now, going back into that matte white. And dry brushing that over the beard. There we go, that looks pretty good. Next, burnt orange Gonna be a little trickier. It's not bad. And I'm thinking about the goggles, true silver 09207. Let's see if I am still at least reasonably focused. The lighting seems to have a lot to do with this, but there are so many variables. I haven't figured them all out just yet, but I will over time.
Vampire Red. And if this will play nice, uh oh, that went out big. And the neighbors finally stopped the racket. That's got too much. So that okay, that helps a little. This can be a pretty subtle one to be honest, but subtle works out real well sometimes. Driftwood Brown zero nine one six two. Just about done. This doesn't take too long at all. Let's get those pouches. Misty Gray 0990. Okay, that little bit might be just enough to do the job. Let's give it a shot. That works, okay. It turned out reasonably well. Now a little more pure black, 09037. Should be enough, I think. Switching over to a flathead brush. Using just enough water to thin the paint, keeping the brush moist but not overly wet. I'm just gonna line the base. I think I've got enough paint on here to get the job done. Okay, that's got it. There is Mouse. Incredibly clever man. Okay. So, that's it for Mouse. Got some muscle coming up next with an ambiguously named character. So until next time, I am Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games, signing out.